Hello everyone, thank you for joining me for this Flamingo Fabric Collage tutorial. Firstly, I just wanted to show you how I'm going to be laying out each piece of fabric. You can lay yours out differently if you choose to, and this is just a guide. But I just wanted to give you an idea of the placement of each piece to start with. So firstly, I'm just pinning the piece of striped fabric in place. You can also use a glue stick to hold the pieces in place if you need to. And we're just going to use the blue embroidery floss to start with. And we need to split it so that we're only using two strands at a time. And just thread your needle. I use a needle threader to make this a bit easier. Using a simple running stitch, I just stitch around all the edges. And the same again with the next piece. Once all the base fabrics are in place it's time for the lace trim and again I'm just holding it in place with pins. We'll be using the white sewing thread for this and starting along one edge of the trim using small stitches we just catch the lace to stitch and secure in place. Carrying on along the top and bottom edge. Now using the two strands of blue again, we secure the next piece with cross stitches. With two strands of the orange thread this time, I'm going to secure the piece of flamingo fabric, again using running stitches. Here we're going to add some texture to the flamingo's feathers using some small seed stitches. 
Here you can see that it just adds a little bit of texture. Now I'm using a backstitch to outline the flamingo's body and neck. I'm coming up with my needle and going back down into the last stitch. Still using the orange thread and again using running stitches, I'm adding texture to the other areas. Keep adding lines of running stitches using the coloured embroidery threads until you're happy with the overall effect. Finally, we're going to add some button embellishment spaced out along the bottom edge. And there you have it, our completed flamingo fabric collage to either frame or incorporate into other projects. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and thank you for watching. Happy stitching!